It is. You know, it's so funny. Um, I'm just looking at you. You look good. And I'm sure you hear Thank that you. all the time. Thank no, but you do. But I do remember some time ago, uh, some years ago, probably six years maybe, you and I had talked about this. People had actually reached out to me because they thought you were dying. And sometimes people, yeah, it, it's just crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. seriously, what, what was that about? What was going on? Yeah, I, I, was, <laughs> I was in politics, um, or like, like you asked, I, I had left to go serve. And because it was, I was not as physical as I used to be, I woke up one morning, I was asked to go for a full medical. And I was, I woke up one morning, I was 120 kilos, you know. Overweight, yeah. Overweight, <laughs> so right. to speak. Right. And I went for um, a medical. And this young lady who was doing my ECG and all of that, um, I was made to run on a on a treadmill, and all that. yeah. Yes, I did all of that, and you know, when she was going on, she was like, Oh, wow, RMB, I was just looking now through, and I saw that it's you, you know. And she turned and said, But what happened to you? You've gone fat, <laughs> you know. And that sort of hit me like, you know, when they say, Oh, a hit to the solar plexus, right? Like, that really, that really hit me. And on the drive back to the to the to the uh, to Asaba. So, because I went to uh, mm -hmm. the, the teaching hospital. Mm -hmm. I was very quiet and, and my driver was like, I hope everything is okay. <laughs> I said, yeah, everything is okay. Um, just that I heard something that didn't go down well with me. Yeah. And prior to this, it was like what I needed to start losing weight or start living a healthier life. Prior to this, uh, I had met a young lady through a friend of mine who was going through a, a lifestyle change with diet and all of that. And so right. they, had, they had been encouraging me to sign on to the program, but I had been like postponing it. But I called her up before I got to Asaba, like, I want to start today. Right, right. And the minute I started that program, I just found out how profligate or what I, whatever the word is, or how how nonchalant that I have been with my health and my right. eating habits and all of that. Right. And I, I got into this healthy routine that I loved so much. And I started losing weight. I started losing weight and I started feeling better and good right. with myself. And because people didn't see me go through that, a lot of people outside of Asaba didn't see me go through that. Uh -huh. I was doing 10,000 steps plus every day. And because people didn't see me going through that, they just thought I had some kind of terminal disease. In fact, some people said I had AIDS and that I was dying. Some people who were wrote kinda... to me, people called me. <laughs> they were like, ah, you remember that guy that you know now that was your movie? Ah, he's dying, no? And that, yeah. I'm like, what? Really? People, the ones that were a bit kinder said, oh, I had probably a liver disease. <laughs> and then when I, when this was, and then I wasn't strong on social media. Even when I gave an interview and said, look, I am in the best shape of my <laughs> life. I mean, I'm happy, I'm stronger. People just wouldn't believe. No. But you see, the good, the good thing also that happened at that time, I think, was that I was still in government. So mm -hmm. people couldn't say, oh, maybe he's out of government and he's suffering because then that would have been the thing if I was right. not in government. They would right. have said, oh, they've sacked him and they don't have money <laughs> anymore or whatever. But here's the good thing, though. I kept up my program, stayed there. I mm -hmm. dropped from 120 kilos to 95 kilos, Impressive. which was my idea, which was my ideal weight. And politics then finished. You know, 2014, I went to America, stayed with my kids for a while, and I took your, you know how you say you take your leg off the pedal, right. <laughs> you know, right. and then I started feeling out a bit got to 98 and then got to 100, resumed my social media pages, um, started, you know, do, left the Abada, the, the, the kaftan and started going back to wearing regular clothes. Right. And so, suddenly, you know, the same people were like, oh my God, he's he looking looks so really good. good. He <laughs> looks so fit. Oh, he's, good. yeah. Isn't so it, isn't he's it funny about life? Vampire is aging backwards. And all that. So these people we constantly talk. In fact, uh, Amaze, to, to let you know how funny it is, since you've been saying, "Oh, you look good," I woke up again a few months ago, shortly before the the lockdown, the pandemic, right. the long the lockdown. Yeah. And I was 115 kg. 
Okay. And so when the yes, so when the lockdown started, I said to myself, "You're going back to where you were again." And then <laughs> yes. this, during this lockdown, you are just going to wake up one morning and you are <laughs> back you to face? being a hundred, back to being a hundred and twenty, and your yeah. your guts will be like this. Right, you know? right. So you know what I'm going to do during this lockdown? I'm going to flip the narrative. So when people were saying they're going to get fat, and when the lockdown is over, they will be like twice their size. I kept saying to myself, when the lockdown is over, I'll be half my size. And that is exactly what I have been doing. And since that, since I went into the lockdown, I went into the lockdown at 115. And as luck will have it, as God will have it, I met a filmmaker who wanted me, who wants me to be in the movie. And he threw me a challenge and said, you know what, I'm going to enable you. I want you to lose weight. I want you to lose 15 kilos. Because when he said, how, how much you win? I said, I weigh 100. And he said, I said, I weigh 115. And he said, I need you to play a role for me that I want you to be 100. 100, and yeah. I said, And I said, we are on. And as I'm talking to you now, I'm 103.5. I have lost 12.5 kilos nice. all through the lockdown until now. So, nice. you know, uh, just at this time, um, it's not as drastic as, as it was, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, the first There's time. So, yeah. Yeah, so by the time I, when I was doing my 59th birthday, mm-hmm. I was already in the process. And mm-hmm. so for me, what I'm doing now is not, it's not even so much as for the film, uh, but creating a okay. lifestyle that would take, that would take me into my 60s. Yeah. So that when I'm, like when I'm in that. my 60s, I look, I look better than I was in my 40s. <laughs> what are you talking yep, about? So that's, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all getting old. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you talking I'm about 60. Is this it's 60 it's, next year? I, I mean, know. Like, it's hello. it's, um, <laughs> it's um, well, God is good. God is good because yeah. you know it's just yeah, it's uh, just wrapping one's head around that. But yeah, yeah, it was it was a big thing back then because I I remember I even reached out. I'm like, are you okay? You're like I'm gonna say, I'm fine. Don't listen to these people because I'm like. I don't know what's going on. People say you're dying. Like you saw you me in America, one of the, that, that period when I came. I in, did. When I, I did. Yes. And yeah, it was like so. they said, "You're like don't don't listen to these people." If I'm like, "Don't mind, <laughs> I can go back and tell." I mean, you can, and I'm like, "You can tell me." You know, it's okay. Just yeah. talk to me. They're like, yeah. "No, you're fine." Even, you. even my, my even my mother-in-law, um, and my my wife. Yeah. At a point, my mother-in-law was like so worried, and she was like, "It was bad." Imofe, can you please stop? Just say it. And I'm like, well, mommy, you know, you know I'm good. And I just like, no, you are okay. But they keep warning me that, Sorry. you know, a problem shared is a problem half solved. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy that said to me, a former classmate of mine that said to me, that, look, um, there's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Um, if, there is, if, if there are some Let's native about meds, there are natives, there are some native medicine that, stop, that can stop, help stop. you in, in doing some of it. You know, so I said, what native medicine oh do I need? God. He says, I heard you have diabetes. And I have that, diabetes, yeah. AIDS, um, liver, yeah, um, so the man is dying. I said, I, I don't have any of these uh, things. I am, God. I am in the best shape of my life. I am trying to live a healthy lifestyle so that I don't feel fat, I'm not, but you know, in Nigeria, you, you know, it can it be appreciated. Only when you are, yeah. yeah, it's only when we, we you like are big, you know, we yeah, like, your uh, guts is here, my well, boobs would be like 36 <laughs> DD, that's when, <laughs> you know, that's that, when they know he's, he's, he's chopping, he's, 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 yes, he's, he's, he's doing good, he's alive. No, yes, but that's, I mean, he's not suffering after yeah. all, or he, he didn't, um, you know, he stole enough from government yeah. to keep himself, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you it, know, it was just yeah. amazing. It's crazy. Yeah, but, but you know, it's uh, the thing to do is when you find yourself um, as the as the center of public discourse. Uh, once you, you 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 the man in the mirror for me, it's, it's it's very important. Once I reconcile with myself, my, I I trust my sensibilities and and I trust how my the, the my entire universe is located. Um, I know where my help comes from. Once I'm reconciled with with all of those elements, right. I, I pretty much, I pretty much block the rest of the world out of my, yeah. My it's just background and noise. Just I, yes, and do what you have to do, background and then noise. suddenly all that chorus turns to you know the old. <laughs> when, are you go, when are you going to leave all of this for younger people? And and same people that used to say you know 
he's dying and yeah. you're not saying, no, I don't know oh, what you're doing. Right Stop giving our wives problems. Our <laughs> wives call us and say, look at that. Look at your friend. Look at that. You know, so yeah. um, it's, it's, it's pretty much enjoyable now. It's a good thing that we can laugh right. about it now. Right. But when, when, when all the sniggering was going on and mm. people were they're, they're saying all kinds of things, it wasn't funny because some of these things were told to my own family people. Family, yeah. In spite of yeah. what they knew, they, some, some of them even started doubting if I was lying about, about yeah. being okay. You know, no, about, no, but it, nobody believed you. Are you kidding? Yeah, nobody this, believed stupid you. Diet, this stupid diet. This stupid diet. Okay, diet. That's what they're facing, the diet. Brother is, yes, diet, this is a know? stupid diet. Yeah. Man, the man doesn't look good. <laughs> anyway. Well, now <laughs> he looks good, good people. You can see <laughs> yeah. him. He looks great, yeah. okay? Oh my God, those, but you see, long time ago, someone told me, um, and I think, actually, I do remember even sharing this in your presence. Um, I think we were at, um, it was in the UK, we're in London, and I think it was Daily Momodu's office. And it was like, everyone's talking about, they were asking me something personal, which, whatever. Yeah, nest. <laughs> but, um, and I was like, yeah, everyone wants to know about Ameza now, but, they were, you know, um, I've been told that when people are talking about you, it's because you're moving up, you're doing something. Nobody mm -hmm. talks about someone who isn't doing anything, mm -hmm. you know? So that's always at the back of my mind. When people are talking, it's like, keep talking. It means I'm doing something, you know? So, what, you yeah. owe, what you owe them, what you owe them when they keep talking is to focus on what you're doing and keep giving them more things to talk about. Right, um, that, that is for it. Me, for, guess who told me this? Mm -hmm. uh, it was Abiola. You know, God uh -huh. bless his soul. The late yeah. MKO. Yeah. Um, I yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember. I remember. Then I, w I was getting married to my my, my late wife, and yeah. you know, uh, he had asked for us to come see him, and uh, then I was working. Uh, I had worked for him in Concord. Concord. Yeah. And, says, uh -huh. yeah. and he says to me, um, "So, so, so, so how, how are you coping? Are you coping? With all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you know, with all this stuff. I can up. I'm there, it's, it's hard sometimes. I said, don't worry. Let them, let them be writing about you every day. You know, what you owe them is to make sure that every day that they wake up, you have done something new and good. <laughs> that they will talk day, about. That they have to write about. You say, would you rather wake up and be, and you have nothing to do but be talking about people who are progressing? You know, let them, let them Wonderful, write. yes. Yeah, and so that, that has stayed with me. It stayed with um, me too, yeah. You, you know, for, for the longest. You don't have something just, to talk about. Just make sure, yeah, just make you sure. Don't you don't do the talking. I, I, you just do the I, doing I, and let them talk. I, I've seen the same thing repeated in some of, um, some of the young, you know, young uh, celebrities uh, around now. I, I, there was one that um, um, Tiwa Savage uh, posted. I've forgotten what it, how the precise thing, but you know how... It's like your enemies are watching your page, so make sure you put up a show for them every time. Right. They, they, every time they go to your page, you make sure that there is a show. <laughs> yeah, I love her. Yeah, so that, that, that yeah. 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 Oh yeah, yeah. She's, yeah. She's, 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 I mean, I've never met her, she's, but she's, love her voice, there. love her singing. Yeah. She's, yeah. Just, she's, she's one of those uh, uh, reasons to to be proud about the yes. country you come from. Yes, actually, you know, we're talking about Taylor Savage. Actually. Um, Beyonce just had this Blackest King and I actually just oh, wanted yeah. because a friend of mine wanted yeah. us to talk about it in my channel. And I saw her, I'm like, oh, oh I yeah. she that. has, she had it. You know, she had like a whole song, you know. In yeah, and, she did. You know, and she was the only one that recorded in Nigeria or at least had the Nigerian. The Nigerian, the National and, Theater. Yeah. And, uh, yes, yes. yes. I, oh, I, I love that. I love, I love I that. Just, she was I, just, uh, I, you know, yeah. I mean, that whole, that whole album experience for me, Black is King, you know, it's just the, the, the impetus of it all that it gives us all. I mean, Beyonce, my, my daughter is such a big fan of Beyonce. <laughs> and, and, and my wife made me watch this Blackest King Black only, yes, only last night. Me too. I, I, just, read, I just yeah, watched it. <laughs> I had read about the, the young Nigerian boy who, 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 who is like the breakout star. Yeah, the, the prince. Yeah. In, 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 yes. Yeah. The, you know, um, the one that was colored and taught right, the right. dance steps and mm -hmm. all of that. And, you know, so, and one of my young, one, one very young Nigerian who is doing great things in America is also in that video. His name is Z Money. You know, he's, he's, he's a Nigerian to watch out for. Oh my God. Uh, I have to go guy. check yeah. that out. Yeah. yeah. Z, Z Money for real. His handle is Z Money for real. 
uh, is a young Nigerian rapper who lives in, in LA. Okay. Um, and he also he also acts as well. He's I've had the pleasure and oh, privilege lovely. of having him in my oh, in my show called Mr. Good. X. Yes, Mr. X Family Show. And so you know, um, mm -hmm. Black is King. Um, that that they chose the point in 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 uh, Lion King where this is let's let's go home, and they chose for that period to be home being Nigerian. Nigeria, come on. Savage, I know. Showing to a savage, and, and uh, it that, was. That's I same. felt so good. I felt good. I felt proud. You know, no matter what people yeah. say about it, we're just we're too much. We're yeah. we too get. You know, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Talking about social media, you are very um, present, and um, I've you know I follow your posts. Some are very thought provoking. Some are funny, but you have a style on social media. You know that I actually I like because it's, it's peculiar to you actually. So what? How did you get started on that? I'm not tech. I'm not social media. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just starting to I'll, get look. All the all the credit for my social media um, go, go, goes to uh, a few people that I'm going to mention. Um, okay. Uh, first, my team. Uh, when I left politics and I came back out to entertainment, what I did was to assemble a team of young people. The oldest at that time was what, like thirty or so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. or 32 or so, and, and, and because they wanted me to be on social media, and I wasn't too keen on it, but right. you know, look, this is where it is happening. <laughs> and look, uh, politics is over for you, no more kaftan. If you are going to wear kaftan, we're going to like make them special. They have to be body hugging and all of right. that. The right. person who really, really encouraged me to be on social media is, is a young lady called Maureen. Um, her, her Instagram handle is red she okay. really encouraged me to come onto social media and when i started i could hardly even know i didn't know how to post a picture i know um, a few people who Basically. taught me how to post was uh van vika <laughs> you know <laughs> okay van vika i remember i was in america uh, shooting a film um with nevada bridge and I was trying to post something, and Van Vika was there. I was like, Van Vika, please help me. <laughs> help know, a brother one. out here. <laughs> yes, and himself, Uche Jumbo, um, so many of them. Um, th there was a time I would, I would, I would post a picture, and they would say, tag your friends. I would tag like Genevieve. Tag. I would tag. So I would ask, I would call Genevieve, and I said, they say I should try tag you. Say, hey, just tag me. <laughs> um, or oh, tell your friends to give you a shout out. I will send a text to Genevieve and Uche Jobo and all these people. Right. Like, people yeah. give me a shout out. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and then my team, uh, my stylist um, uh, Nina, she would she would tell me, Papa, this is you can't dress like this. You should dress like this. You know, uh, yeah. no, don't just write it like this. Let's write it like this. Right. You know, so they, 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 they built. They started to build on my comeback. On my right. comeback. Right. And over time, it, it worked with my persona, and, and now um, I'm st I still don't. I still cannot post a picture well because last night I tried to post uh, a film that I'm part of. I did a film in Cameroon, and they sent it to me last night, and I had to post it uh, on IGTV. So I, I couldn't. I couldn't get the. <laughs> I couldn't. I didn't know how to get the cover. On IGTV right. because I don't. I'm used to just posting the one minute ones. Yeah. And so when I posted, there was no cover page. So I called my team lead on on social media. I'm like, oh God, I should have just called, woken you up to <laughs> instead this. of trying to do it myself. Said, oh, yes, yeah, Papa, yeah. what? I said I posted the IGTV <laughs> thing. And I think I messed it up. <laughs> so she looked at it and said, No, you didn't mess it up. It's just that you don't have a cover. You know, I said Monday you teach me how to do the cover. Yeah. The cover you know, yeah. Yeah. but it's it's been fun. It's been fun trying to do it. Um, um, it's not every time that that uh, that I have the time to post the way I would like to post, but it's just fun when you find out that there are lots more people who want to reach you and and engage with you and and know stuff about you and just giving them a slice of it. But but over and above everything else, what I have found very useful about my social media presence is the fact that. Um, it helps the causes that I believe in. Uh, 
about um, uh, T TB, for instance, uh, the need to stop TV, TB, for instance. You, you talked about uh, rape, domestic violence, and used it to even sometimes propagate the gospel of God, you know, just encouraging people to know God and, and, and be closer in times like this, find their spirituality and, and, and see how that can give them some kind of comfort in trying to navigate life as we know it now and all of that. So social media is not just a place where you come out and do savage replies or, 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 or things like that. I've used it to encourage people to, to, to use it as a business there are people that have, there are, there, are, there are things, endorsements that I have gotten that needed to ride on the back of my social media presence. And so I have had to give my social media presence a, a bit more consideration because it is not just there, it is also financial. Yeah. It, it, helps your, it, it helps your profiling and all that. I mean, I'll give you an example. These days uh, with, with global citizenship and all of that, you travel, you get to a border, border and, and, and they, they put your name in and your entire life comes out. They look at your social media presence now and all that. Uh, my last trip to DC last year, or uh, was in January or so, um, the guy who was looking at my profile said, oh, you're an actor. I said, yeah. I said, you know, yeah. Um, do you, are there films you will recommend for me that I can watch you? And I said, oh yeah, go to um, Netflix and you can watch ABCD new films, right. you know. Right. Uh, so, so, so it helps when you have some of these things, especially if you are in the business, like like we are in the business of right. entertainment. Right. And so, um, I, I would I would love to keep it for as long as I can. Yeah, um, right. it's very time consuming, but uh, I, it, it, you think it's for, for, yeah. a, good, for a good for a good cause. Then yeah. hey, I don't mean. Yeah. So we're going to talk about your iconic roles. Before that. I actually want to ask you how was how was your time on Flesh and Blood set? Do you remember any experiences? Oh, how was it? I, I can't rep I can't rep I can't rep I can't I can't remember in details, but hey, um, it was an enjoyable time. Like I said, it was my first it was my first um, um, Nollywood film, and remember, um, I think it was Dean DC or so that had talked to me about coming on board. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I did, and, and I liked it. And then yeah. I met, I met you. I met Ramsey. I met young people. Then everybody then starts now. You know, so, I mean, today yeah. I look back and I just smile at, at how the journey has been uh, yeah, so yeah. far for all of us. It's yeah. some, uh, pretty amazing. It has yeah. been amazing. Like your name, amazing, 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 amazing. amazing. <laughs> 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 so, um, look at me. I said we won't talk for more than uh, thirty minutes. I'm sure we've um, been well. Out. We're yeah, because again, that's what happens when things you know um, go organically. But I want you to just mention maybe like three iconic roles for you that has touched mm. you as you have touched. You know, your I'm talking about movies now. You know, what okay, are, for, or it could be some TV show. What? Yeah, for TV show, for movie, TV, and everything, I, I, I would always mention um, Shagun Kadu uh, in Checkmate because that that was like a make or break character for me as an actor. There's yeah. a history behind my doing this and all of that because it was a program that had started before me. I didn't join from episode one. I think I yeah. joined from episode seven or so. So yeah. I needed to come up, step up, and be able to be at par with mm -hmm. the actors that, that had 11 episodes or 10 episodes ahead of me. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I, it was one of those characters that I had to work on well before coming on. So, so Sheryl Kadiri for me was very iconic. Mm -hmm. And then it was, um, there was a character that I played in a film called Oloibiri, which I played a militant. And also, uh, it also worked out for me because then that was when I also lost the weight so I was able to play the character better. Mm. Um, yes. Uh, so that's um, I played a militant who who was a very well, very educated militant who who had a first class in engineering or some petroleum engineering or something like that and was fighting for his people. You know those kind of characters based on Isaac Boro and all of that. Okay. What what movie is that? Uh, it's called Oloibiri. I think it's been changed now to. Uh, oil and blood or something like that but it, it's a film that was made by uh, a guy called uh, Rogers of who okay. also produced uh, Hush 
um, okay. you know. And then um, for movies, um, I also mentioned Violated. You know, I, I like Violated because Violated was like, um, was so iconic as a movie that it, it was more or less like the first, I don't know how if, if to call it, a uh, hugely uh, successful Nollywood film, a romantic film that set the tone for some other films like, um, um, which one was that one? Uh, Keeping Faith and all of that, 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 that came in that week, you know. So um, those were some of the iconic uh, ones that, that I can quickly remember now. So before you leave, because we're winding down, um, yes. I do notice that you have been able to um, blend a family, you know, and that's something I know, personal experience for me, that's not easy, blending, you know, when you have, you know, families from different um, relationships, but you have been able to blend that well, you know. Um, You've been married twice. I wasn't actually going to go into that until you mentioned um, you mentioned your first wife, but you have been married now successfully to um, beautiful and very um, lovely uh, Jumobi. And how have you guys done that? You know, blending the families and just leaving, being an example. You know, because that's something people of, struggle with. Look, all of that credit really goes to that beautiful woman <laughs> that, that, that uh, copes, uh, manages with me. And, and um, well, I say something funny all the time, like, oh, how's your wife? Said, well, she's still tolerating me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it, it's not easy. Um, she, I owe her a depth of gratitude and, mm -hmm. and, and loving because she took a step back for me. When we got married, she was already um, a television personality. Right. She was very well loved. Yeah. She could have been anything she wanted to be, you know. Mm -hmm. And she said to me, I'm going to stop. Mm -hmm. I need you to get me a regular job. Mm -hmm. and I want to work in a regular office and mm -hmm. I don't want to be a celebrity. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why would you want to do that? Is that one person in the family is enough. Let me concentrate. Mm -hmm on the family the home, you, yeah. you stay there and be fine boy and do all your <laughs> fine boy no people stay. <laughs> do all your shenanigans <laughs> and I say this um, and it looks light now but it's a lot yeah. it's a lot I don't I don't if if that is not if that is not love at, at the highest at, at, at the highest level of personal sacrifice I don't know what is uh, and so you can't have a partner like that and not try to um, step up right. in, in, how, in how you do things. I am far, 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 far from being perfect. But mm. I, have, I have an almost perfect life that, that will, mm. will give me, that will do anything for me. And, and so my success as a, as, a, as, a, as a father has been mostly due to the fact that I have an amazing wife. And what I am today is just me trying to step up and keep up with the pace lovely. and the level at which she operates. Yeah. That's lovely. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing you said. I even love you more now. My respect for you just <laughs> Thank when, you. Yeah, no, it's true. That's just a man that can acknowledge and, you know, say it the way it is. And that's, yeah, yeah, that's a sacrifice. It's not easy, blending families yeah. and just being successful about it. So where do we go from here? What's what's for the future? What's um, like you've done it future. all. Seriously, you're a lawyer, <laughs> I, you're a governor, um, you're acting, you're receiving mm -hmm. award, lifetime achievement award, and all that, and sex symbol, living legend. Should I go on? I mean, seriously, well, what is it? Please, please. Well, not only you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is next? I'm yeah. already inside. What is next? Um, I have I, of late. I just caught the documentary bug. And so um, I'm right. trying to do a doc. I'm, I'm trying to really concentrate on documentaries. Um, but my documentaries are going to be mostly about the heroes that I admire. Lovely. And and so the, I have I had started one one before the lockdown, and so we sort of pause 
uh, for that now. But once the lockdown is, uh, once we are all liberated again, the <laughs> <laughs> <We're> release, <laughs> I will, I will continue. Uh, but it is, it is my new love, and and hopefully. I can make currency of it, and uh, yeah. when when it's when when it's at the stage when I can announce it, right. I will let you. I will let you okay, know. Okay, definitely, yes. I would love that. Yeah. Again, we. Oh my God, it's it's such a blessing. You know, just talking to you is just so easy. Um, I've RMD has been hanging with me. This is EMZ TV. If you're watching and if you're listening, it's a Meza Live podcast. I love you. You are so dear to me. Thank you you, you are my you. person. You. you know that. I mean, uh, yes, that yes. goes we'll be, we'll be family now for, for 22 years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm counting. Probably even more than that. More, more. But exactly I'm just, more looking, than that. I'm just taking from 88. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just taking from 88. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. been the, oh, yeah. It's so good. it's good to see yeah. you. And it's, you know, you've always been supportive and i have to say in front of everyone that you've always been in my corner you've always supported me my craft and my person you know just asking about my family and what i'm doing and i love you thank you thank you i love you back thank you thank you so much and um, my regards to jimabi and the kids and uh, we'll um, we'll be catching each other on the other side (laughs) all right bye-bye take care